Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is all about the MD-80. We're gonna go over how to create and import your Simbri flight plan, coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started in today's episode, I first would like to go over what we're gonna be covering. This is gonna be a start to finish video. Everything you're gonna to need to know to create your flight plan all the way down to importing it into the FMC. This is not going to be a complete tutorial on the MCDU or FMC, whatever you want to call it. That being said, we're first going to go over how to create your SimBrief flight plan. Then we're going to use the SimBrief downloader tool to download the appropriate files. We're then going to go over all the necessary changes that you need to go through in the Mad Dog Load Manager application. Once that's done, we're then going to go through the process of uploading that information into the FMC itself and the EFB unit in the Mad Dog. So with that out of the way, if the video helps you out, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is create our SimBrief flight plan. If you have not used SimBrief in the past, I'll also post a link to a video I've done on creating a SimBrief flight plan as well. Some of the steps in that video are not going to pertain to this video as uploading the information into the FMC is a little bit different than in other aircraft. The first thing we need to do is click on create new flight. All right, so once the page loads, we're going to go through some of the information that is necessary for creating the flight. The first thing that I usually do in any of my flights is I would always come over to the units because I fly in the US and I would always change this to pounds. But the load manager application seems to not like using pounds, so we're gonna keep that in kilograms. The first bit of information that we're gonna add is the flight info. We're gonna click on the departure, and today we're flying out of KMIA, and the arrival airport is gonna be KMCO. Next is the aircraft type. So we're just gonna click on the dropdown and select the MD-80 from the list. There we go, MD-82. Once we have that information in, it will auto-populate a lot of this information for us, and we don't have to make any changes unless you wish to do so. For the MD-82, you do not need to know your pilot ID for this information to load, like you would normally have to in the Airbus A320. Down below, we have the routing section, and here we're able to choose different routes that are suggested over here on the right. If you know a specific route, you can also enter that route information here, once you have that done, just click Analyze Route. And then you will be set to go. Once you find the route that you would like to go with, all we need to do is to go back to the top, come right over here to the Generate Flight button, and give that a left click. Now that this information is populated, you can go through all of this and check it out. We're not going to do that on this episode, but we're now going to jump into the SimBrief Downloader tool to download the correct files so that we can get this going in the MD-82. All right, so once you load up the SimBrief downloader tool, the first thing that you would probably want to do is to hit the refresh button and just make sure you've got the correct flight loaded in. And that will be listed here at the top. We went through a full tutorial on the SimBrief downloader tool. If you're not familiar with it, you can click on the video up here. But all we're gonna do is to go down where we have the Leonardo MD-80 and then we're just going to click download and export both of the files that we need. And that's it. All right, so now that we've got all the files in the correct location, now we have to go through the load manager and make sure that we have everything set in here correctly. So the first thing I want to do in the load manager, on the very first page, the general tab, you want to go down and make sure that the measurement units for the load manager is set in kilograms. Once you have that done, we're going to come down to the settings icon or the settings cog here and give that a left click. In the settings menu, you want to make sure that the use SimBrief for fuel route planning is going to be ticked. If you do not have this ticked, it will not activate your SimBrief flight plan. The other thing that you'll notice here when you click this is that the route planning tool within side of the load manager goes blank on you and you can no longer select that. That's because we're going to be importing all of our information from SimBrief now. If you would like to go the quick and easy way with this, you can also select all of these at the top so that it will automatically refuel the aircraft, update the aircraft weight, center of gravity, and the flight number. 
and um, this way it'll take a lot more load off of you when you get in the aircraft. And once all that is complete, then we just need to make sure that we come over and select Save and Sync. Once we have all the settings set correctly here, there's one last tab that we need to visit. We're going to come up to the Load Manager icon, give that a click, and then we're going to come over and make sure that you have the correct aircraft selected. And then you want to come down and click on the Import OFP button. This will open up the route folder where we had downloaded the flight plan for today. So you just want to select the flight plan, hit open, and it will now automatically populate all of that information into the load manager for us. At this point, you probably want to come up and hit the save and sync button one more time. Now that we have got all this information done, we are pretty much done with the load manager we can now move inside the aircraft. Now that we're in the aircraft, we're gonna start with the EFB portion of the flight plan. So the first thing that we can do is come over to the electronic flight folder and give that a left click. We're gonna go down to where it says import OFP and you're gonna type in the departure airport. Click on arrival and type in the arrival airport. Hit enter and it will now automatically pull that information from the Simbrief flight plan. This will also break everything down over on the side here, and you can take a look at that as well. Now once we're finished with this, we can click on the home button, and then we're gonna head up to the weight and balance page. Once we're here, again, we're gonna go down to import OFP, and we're gonna select the departure airport, select the arrival airport, and now we'll pull all that information for the flight into the weight and balance calculator. The other thing that we can do in the EFB before we head down to the MCDU is to go to the performance tab. So before we head over there, we're just going to take a look at the takeoff weight, which is 51,578. And then we're going to go to the performance. Takeoff weight is 51,578. Takeoff airport is going to be KMIA. And then we can also add the takeoff runway. So we're just going to keep this set at optimum. You'll set your Q and H. And then below that, you'll have your anti-ice on or off and whether you're gonna have your packs on or off. To the left, we have the outside air temperature and the wind. You also have your conditions here for dry or wet. Once you have all that information in, we're just gonna hit the calculate and this will now give us all of our V speeds and the flex temp to use if you're gonna be using the flex for takeoff as well as your flap configuration over here on the left. All right, so now that we're down at the MCDU, the first thing that we need to do is the position in it. So we're just gonna tap on the button here, and then we're gonna enter the reference airport above. So we are at KMIA, enter our reference airport, we'll get the GPS. Once that's done, we can head over to the routing section. All right, so now that we're on the routing page, we are not gonna enter a destination airport here. What we're gonna do is enter a company route down here below. Now to enter this information, we are just gonna type in our departure airport, which is KMIA, and then we're gonna type in the arrival airport directly next to it with no spaces or dashes. Once we have that done, we're just going to come up to where it says Company Route and tick on the soft key next to that. And now it will load the entire flight plan for us. At this point, we want to make sure that we hit the Activate button and then go down and hit the Execute. At this point, it will now have loaded the entire flight plan. There's some other information here that we need to enter as well. So we're going to hit the Menu button then we're gonna go down to the ACARS menu. Head up to the pre-flight, and then we're gonna tap on the init data. Once here, we can hit the init request, and it will now pull all the information from our flight plan for here. Once that's done, we've got that good to go. Over here on the weight and balance page, all of this information has to be manually entered, so I'm not gonna go through that right now. And now we can go over to the legs page, and check out all the different legs of the flight. All right, so once the flight plan has been uploaded to the MCDU, you will have to go down and enter your departure and arrival down here as well. Again, we're not gonna go through how to do that. If you would like to see a more in-depth video of the FMC unit, 
let me know down below in the comments section. One last thing before we go, if you head over here to the init reference, all of this information that is here will also have to be manually entered. None of this will auto populate. Okay, so I think that's gonna wrap us up for today of importing our Simbri flight plan into the MCDU or FMC, whatever you wanna call it. If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. While you're down there, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button to all my flight simmer friends around the world. Keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.